And all systems go here at Anfield ahead of what should be an enthralling night of football. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary and my expert analyst as always on these occasions is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Liverpool against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Presnel Kimpembe plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Idrissa Gay plays with Danilo Pereira in midfield. And the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. And coolly done in the end. Well, he overdid that pass and he knows it. And a throw in it's going to be. Superbly to take back possession. Real chance. Superb stop. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Well, whatever way you slice it, Stuart, Mo Salah is a man you just can't take your eyes off. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Now with Hakimi. Mbappe with it. Options in the middle. Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Key 
Fellaini. Promising looking ball. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Counter attacking very much an option. And Thiago. Replay, it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. was too close to the keeper Mane and this is Diogo Jota now Mane crossing possibilities oh the threat is there what a genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick infringement a caution yeah no surprise there that was always going to be a booking Danilo Pereira Neymar a good and fair challenge Fabinho now what can they do from here Alexander Arnold and Mane in the thick of things and not testing the keeper at all with that effort Danilo Pereira Mbappe with it Idrissa Gay Neymar Makes the move to the inside It's gone in A goal for PSG Beyond the goalkeeper To square things up Let's see this again Because the delivery into the box Couldn't be any better Played into just the right area And then what a great finish as well Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Fabinho and this is Diogo Jota now Thiago Sadio Mane now and he's beaten him here clearing the lines and so it will be a corner now
it's a short one and let's see about the cross well not cleared away completely threat over for now it seems Messi Liverpool throw in here Thiago Henderson has it well, they're on the scent of something positive Bearing in field here Here we can see it again. Normally I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. the defender Danilo Pereira now Gay this could level it can they put it away and the keeper was finally able to claim it well what a great piece of goalkeeping firstly the save and then the recovery brilliant from him no more time left first half is over here at Anfield well, Sadio Mane can help the attack in so many different ways and really contributing in this game, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Idrissa Gay. Danilo Pereira Messi Mbappe Messi Plenty of players waiting in the middle Just cutting off the supply Mbappe Plenty with more than a bit of danger Following that challenge He's already been booked and his race is run. Yeah, he just lost his discipline there. That's a really poor challenge. He should have been taken off much earlier. Coming off the pitch, number 20, Diogo Jota. Coming onto the pitch, number 12, Joe Gomez. Well, the free kick fired too close to the goalkeeper. Gomez Van Dijk with it Salah chance for Liverpool to use width to good effect well, on the final analysis his timing just wasn't there well it's always difficult to hit those perfectly and unfortunately for him he got that all wrong work from Liverpool to make sure possession changed hands oh what an opportunity oh denied by the keeper well what more can you say that's goalkeeping at its very best and a corner to Liverpool as they look to press home their advantage so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture Who can they pick out? 
making sure nothing untoward happened. Henderson. And he stopped them in their tracks. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Neymar. Mbappe in the centre and the keeper will happily collect that one great work to keep it in play and a decent position for Liverpool to be in and there's the feed into the box and the counter looks on here options available Verratti able to skip past his man and it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain to square game well here it is again he goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and once he gets onto it he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique what an emphatic finish that is Substitution it is for PSG. So runs away again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece on this one. Fabinho. Henderson has it. Liverpool in a position of menace. Henderson, he's very adept at protecting the ball, tremendous book, good pressure high up the pitch, he'll try his luck here, and just over the bar, really good effort, PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front, well you can't take your eyes off this one, because there you have it. Plenty of chances for both teams in what has been a really good game so far. Delightful pass. Credit to them for winning back possession. Must take the lead here. And that'll be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, what a finish we've got here. Can Liverpool get this winning goal? The fans certainly think so. Just listen to them. Quarter of an hour remaining here. Matip. This looks promising. Here's Salah. Mane. Cutting the ball back. Oh, it's a goal! Playing a man short doesn't seem to bother them. They hit the front. Well, let's have another look at this because he does really well to pick the right pass here and it's a very tidy finish because there's still a lot of work to do that's a really good goal position it's not too late for them Messi in the vicinity well they haven't overcome all the difficulties Verratti just cutting off the supply breaking at pace
Matip. Well, for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Looks like a twisted knee from down here. You can just see him trying out. But at the moment, he's carrying on. Cheers, Jeff. And a good tackle. And just five minutes remaining. And the referee says play on, advantage Liverpool. Milner, Sadio Mane at the back post. Not all that convincing defensively. Salah. And unable to keep possession. And Foxing the defender. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Milner. That's a lovely ball. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Full time then. And Paris Saint Germain have work to do already. Where did it all go wrong for PSG? It's a poor start to their Champions League season. Yeah, they'll be disappointed. It's an uphill battle if you don't get anything from your opening game. It really comes down to how they bounce back now. Why do we see a better performance next time out? So, positivity envelops Mo Salah. Not for the first time either. Your verdict? Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.